guys. So today I'm going to be making a notebook with a notebook mold. Um, a lot of people in the group was were asking how to make the notebook. So I just wanted to do a tutorial. Um, I only have one, so I'm going to have to do four different shots of it. So I bought it in a package. It was like $10 on Amazon. Um, the link will be in the description box. And it comes with three size, mold, three size molds. The rings, some little tassels, some little bookmark molds. Not bad for 10 bucks. I haven't really played with all this. Um, so I know Halloween's way over, but I'm obsessed with vampires. So I'm going to be using some water slides to make myself a vampire themed notebook. I never get to make stuff for myself. So this is really cool. And I'm going to be using sun, sunburn from islandmicasandmore.com. And this is an interference color. And I have been using interference colors in my other tutorials, but I have not used it yet over a light color. I'm always using it over a dark color, so this is really cool. You can see how it reacts over a light color. And how it is, is for an interference color. So this is interference red. If you use it over a light color or just by itself, it's going to look pearl with a red sheen to it. If you use it over a dark color, it's going to pop red, bright red. Let's see if you can see it on the trash bag. So that's what an interference color is. And what I'm gonna do is my first layer, um, I mixed up two ounces of resin and I'm going to put just a scoop of sunburn in there and I have to do this in layers as I was saying because I want to put a water slide on here and then so what I'll do is I'll do the first layer and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back tomorrow and I'll put the water slides on and I want to do a little bit of blood splatter with acrylic paint and then you have to come over it with a clear layer of epoxy or resin So just make sure you mix it well. If you don't mix your micas in well, what happens is they'll, there will be little clumps of powder and it can show up in your artwork. So I'm just going to start this. I know um, I always talk about having your space level. Um, my space is never level, but... I had to put some boards under there to make sure it's really level because with this, it really needs to be level. And I'm only using two ounces of resin and then I'm going to spread it out. If you use too much, it's going to fill it up and then you're not going to be able to put the clear layer. You're not going to be able to put the water slides. It took me a little practice to figure out how much to use. And like I said, it seems like it's not going to fill it up, but I'm going to spread it out. So I'm just going to spread it out.
make sure you get all the edges, all the corners. And then it's self level. So it'll basically level itself out the rest of the way. Um, I also sell these in the store. When it dries, you just lay it down. When it dries, you can just peel the resin right off and it's reusable. So normally you don't really want to torch your molds, but I'm going to torch it just a little bit. Respirator. And like I said, just a little bit. I'm going to have it on, it's like on the medium setting. And that's it. So that's the first part of my video. Super easy. Um, I'm going to let this dry till tomorrow. And then we're going to come put the water slides on, the blood splatter. And then we're going to lay down a clear coat. And then that will be the top part of the notebook. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. So it is the next day. This is all ready. And I'm going to do my water slide next. And you can see in the light that sheen of red that I was talking about in the interference color. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply my water slide. And then I'm going to let it dry for a couple hours. And I'm going to come back with a blood splatter on top of it. So you can, this image is not, this is not my image. I purchased it on Etsy and I will put the link to the Etsy shop in the description box. So you can get water slides on Etsy. You can print them from your printer and then spray them with the clear coat to seal them. So you basically print them, clear coat them, and then you put them in water. It's like kind of like a tattoo. You know those kids' tattoos? Temporary tattoos? So I'm going to let that sit for a second. And I'm going to... I use a paintbrush. I'm going to just wet the area. While my water slide is sitting. Probably better to stick with the paintbrush you have oils on your hands that can get on the resin and then it leaves divots or little holes fish eyes that happens to a lot of people with cups and then when this is ready it just peels right off um with water slides on a light surface you can use clear water slide paper and in a dark on a dark service, you have to use white water slide paper. And I'll leave the links to the papers and the printer, the photo printer I use in the description box. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush, it's wet, and I'm going to brush out the air bubbles. Just start from the center and gently brush out. I have these little diamond studs. They're like craft diamonds. I have no clue where they're at right now. I always get an idea right in the middle of filming when I don't have everything in the right place. Well, I'm going to look for them and bring them on. I think in my last coat of resin, I would like to stick some on there. And I'll show you how to do that. So once you feel like you have the bubbles out, you can take a paper towel, kind of dab it and gently, gently, I'm not applying any pressure, just brush out.
Make sure it's even. You see a tiny little bubble right there. And then I'm going to let this dry for at least a couple hours and then I will come back and I'm going to do some blood splatter with acrylic paint over the top and then um, we'll do, we'll let that dry and then we'll do another clear coat of resin. And then on the back, I am going to do some little vampire lips and this is vinyl and it's going to say bite me. Super cute. Okay guys, so I will see you in a couple hours. Hey guys, so the water slide is completely dry and I'm gonna put some blood splatter on this now. You can get a paintbrush. So I'm just going to use a regular paintbrush and this is um, Pyrrole Red from Golden, but you can use any color red you want. And I'm gonna put a little bit in a little cup. Let's see if I can get this closed. I'll worry about it after. And then I'm just putting a tiny little drop of black because I don't like my red so bright. Just so one little drop of black and then this little dropper actually came in the set and I'm just going to put two drops of water in there. I might need a little more, but just let me stir this up. And I'm going to add a tiny bit more red. I'm getting messy, guys. And two more drops of water. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to flick it. And it's coming out really stringy, so I'm going to add a little bit of water, a little more water. Because I kind of want drips. Much better. I don't know, it's a little stringy, but it's okay. And there's some on the photograph on the water slide and that's cool. All right, and now I'm gonna let this dry. I should have wore gloves. Now I have paint all over me. Um, so now I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do the clear coat of resin, the top clear coat, and then I'm gonna put some rhinestones on it after about four hours, after it sits, and that way they'll just stick right on. So I will see you guys in a couple hours when this dries. Hey guys, so this is ready to go, and I mixed up two more ounces of resin. I had to change spots. I have a lot of projects going on in the small um, space. One of my, one of my resin obsession pigments, the white one, it is up on a shelf and it kind of tipped over and the top came off and it was just pouring all over the place. But luckily I keep a shower curtain down and I'm able to change it every once in a while when it starts getting really bad. And just to keep the new shower curtain clean, I just got some cheap saran wrap and laid it down under here. Now I don't know if I'm completely level. 
hopefully so. So I'm just gonna pour in the middle. take this little spatula again and just swipe it out. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my respirator. Hold on, see a little bit right there. going to apply a little bit of heat um, do not apply too much heat it'll burn the mold and stick to it you're never gonna get it out I go in a sweeping motion so I'm not ever staying in one place burning you know heat in one place just a sweeping motion careful if you have saran wrap under there because it'll burn immediately. All right, so I'm going to let this sit and in about four to five hours when it's, it's, you know, it's cured, but not all the way, it's still a little sticky. I'm going to come place some rhinestones. I found them in the corners. I want to add a little rhinestone. I guess this is super girly but I think it's gonna be cute. So I'll be back in about four to five hours and the rhinestones will just stick right in there and you don't have to put another coat of resin. And then this, this one will be done tomorrow after it's fully cured. So I will see you guys in about four to five hours. Hey guys. So I came back like four hours later so I can put the little um, jewels on and I, Drop my iPhone face first right into the resin. I use my iPhone to record and um, it sits on a little, you know, clippy thing. And yeah, I dropped it. So it's all messed up here. But luckily, I might be able to save it because the resin is still wet. So I'm just going to torch it just a little bit and hopes, hope that it goes back down. And if it doesn't go back down, what's super awesome is this is for me, so it's not a big deal. I already see it starting to go back down. I'm just lifting it up so that I don't hit the saran wrap. All right, so it's not, it's not going all the way down. Ah, it is, it is, yay, okay going to be okay all right safe so I'm gonna drop um, some little gems in here I'm a hot mess and I'm gonna use some tweezers probably I'm gonna try or maybe not 
So how I got the sticky resin off my iPhone was baby wipes and I had to use a little bit of acetone. Luckily, my iPhone's waterproof or they say they are now. So anyways, I'm just gonna drop the little gem right there and press it down. That's a red one. Red, by the way, is my favorite color. This is like a black one. And you can kind of push them down a little bit. Um, there's some Angelina fibers in that kit. And there, one is in here. My poor notebook. It's a hot mess. So I'm not going to go too crazy with these. So if you accidentally drop it upside down, it kind of sucks because then you have to pick it back out. So try to... Try to get them right. I've dropped them upside down before, but you can do the same thing that I just did to fix it. Um, just heat it up and it'll, cause it's only been four hours. So the resin's not totally hard. It's not fully cured. So it can be saved. Probably would have been easier with the tweezers, but go in here and then I'm just gonna do a couple more here on the corner and I'm kind of mixing it up some are some of the gems are smaller than the others I have a feeling when I take this off, it's going to be a hot mess. All right, so I just have to do this side. I'm running out of the bigger ones. And you can just push it down, it'll sink right in. And I just need one more. And then I'm just going to come with my torch right over the gem real quick. And that's it. Now I'm going to leave it, let it fully cure till tomorrow. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, and a tip, don't put saran wrap under your art like I did because it catches on fire if you torch it and melts. I mean, I've done it before and I'm usually very careful about it, but... I'm crazy today so i will see you guys tomorrow thank you for watching hey guys so this is cured and the front is ready And I went a little over on the edge. Which is not really good for the mold, you can see. But it has survived. But if that happens, you can just take a pair of scissors and just trim that off. These are not the sharpest scissors. I need better scissors. But anyways, so that's going to be the front. So a little more about um this drawing. I found it on Etsy and I contacted um the guy and asked him if it was okay if I used it in my YouTube tutorial and he was totally cool with it. Um I'm going to post all of his information.
in the description box. But I just think it's so cool. That's the front part. I'm going to do the back next. Um, I'm going to mix up some resin. But I think I'm going to keep it a little more simpler since this has so much going on. So I'm going to go mix up some resin. I, sh I will be back. Okay, guys. Um, so I changed my mind about the background. Which I tend to do a lot. Um, I'm going to... Instead of doing the water slides, I'm going to do the sunburn, the interference red, and some blood splatter. And then I found some holographic bats. This is from Glitter Hearts Company. I got them around Halloween time and I wasn't able to use them, so I think it'll be fun. Um, another thing I wanted to show you, if you are super messy like I am let me take these off and if you went your hole to your notebook got covered a little bit you need to do it right when you take it out of the mold and it's still a little flexible and you can just get a little toothpick one of these toothpicks and just go right through it and if any resin is covering it'll pop it right out um another thing if you demold your um, notebook early, you know, 12 hours, 24 hours, um, resin takes a full 72 hours before it's fully cured. So you want to lay it down flat wherever you're keeping it so that it doesn't bend and then get stuck like that. So just keep it on a flat surface. So I'm going to put my gloves back on. And this is my sunburn. Make sure that you mix it well. put some in the middle and then spread it out and then when this part is is done um, I'll add the blood splatter and the bats and then when that's done we'll be able to put the paper inside it'll be done I won't know until I edit this video but I kind of feel like I was all over the place with this video um, when I have videos where I have to stop and come back I tend to get it tends to get a little crazy I feel like need a little more resin right there. All right, and then get my respirator. 
and just a quick little torch. That's it. And then I'm gonna let this cure. And then I'll come back and put the bats and the blood splatter and it will be done. Okay, see you guys later. Okay guys, so I'm ready to do the blood splatter now. And I mixed up just a little bit of red acrylic paint with a drop of black. Um, I did it on camera in the beginning of the video. If you need to see how I did it. And when I spread it out, I didn't put enough resin in one area. It's missing right there and I'll show you when we do the fi final layer how to fix that. Also, I decided since I already printed the vinyl that I'm going to use it. And we're actually going to put it upside down. Because this is the top, so if you flip it over, this is go going to be the back. So you'll see when I pull it out and it it'll make more sense. But you got to be aware of where the holes are and if it's going to be facing up or it's going to be the back of the notebook. So I'm just going to do it upside down or you can just turn the whole thing around if it makes it easier for you. But for me, I like to do it upside down. I'm going to put it in the middle. This is um, press and seal. from glad this is what i use to pick up my vinyl and it works it's cheaper it lasts forever and it works better than the stuff that they sell to pick it up i forgot what the stuff is called but i'll put this in the description box and then i'm gonna put a little paint on my paintbrush i laid a paper towel to protect my area and i'm just going to flick i kind of like how this one's coming out Got a little splatter. The last one was really stringy. I added more water to this one and it's coming out a lot better. Also, last time I forgot to rinse out my brush and almost ruined it, but I just set it in acetone and the paint came off. Um, these are simply Simmons brush. I love these. I used to be in a, well, I still am an acrylic artist. I have a lot of acrylic paint supplies. So these are some of my favorite brushes. So now we're just going to let this dry, let the acrylic paint dry for a couple hours. And then I'll come back and do, fix that and do the final layer of resin. And then it'll be done. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so that is done there. And this is finally the last layer. And um, I moved my bats out of the package into a Ziploc because um, this doesn't reseal. So I'm just gonna use what's stuck and left over in there. I don't wanna use too many bats. I'm gonna pour my resin into a smaller cup. I'm just putting my bats inside of the resin. I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm gonna pour in the middle. get my scraper and that resin just peels right off and I'm going to spread it out
All right, and then I'm gonna torch it really fast. Back and forth. So all in all, I would say like the first layer, um, I use two ounces and then on the final layer, I use an ounce of resin. Just make sure everything's covered up, that it's all the way to the edges, and then that's it. We're gonna let this cure, and then finally, we'll be able to put the notebook together. I feel like this was the longest tutorial ever, for me anyways. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, this is it, the final part of my tutorial. I'm gonna put this together. There's a notebook paper. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm doing a geo tutorial and I felt like the notebook tutorial was a little bit harder. So this is going to be the back. This is going to be the front. You have to kind of push them to the side to open them. Not too hard though. See what I just did. They kind of um, clip and then snap in place. covered the hole a bit, so I'm just going to get a stick. Push it through. There we go. So I'm going to get that one aligned up. And this one. Paper. I'm going to split it up so it's a little easier. And then this is a little um, folder it came with. that too. I'm going to poke out the little holes on this. And then when I get this all together, um, I'll get a video of it and some better lighting. And I also did another notebook um, for a friend for Christmas. And it has it. I made it with glitter, and it has her name on it, and it has a dream catcher on it. And I'll show you a video of that as well. That video is not too good, but I still have it. And then I'm gonna snap these closed. blemish right there. But that is my notebook, guys. Those holographic little bats are cute. 
Um, so now there will be some videos after showing this in a better light and the other one I made, like I said. And thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you next time.